guys, it's Megan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you're returning, welcome back. Today we are going to do the lower part of our body. So if you watched my previous video, it was our upper body. So now we're going to focus on just our lower body. Um, I'm going to use my box. I am 21 weeks pregnant this week. So I'm going to use my box for our footwork and some other um, exercises that we're going to do. Um, so I would grab your short box, but if you're not pregnant, for the foot part here, just go ahead and lie down on your backs. And um, and if you have a, if you are pregnant and if you have a wedge after your um, second trimester, if you have a wedge, you can place that down too. But I don't have a wedge, so I'm going to use my box to keep my body upright. All right, guys, so let's get started. Set yourself up for footwork. I'm going to put two heavies and a light. Um, if you're using the box to keep your body upright, you might have to go down in springs just so um, because it's going to be a little bit heavier being this close to your bar. So let's get started. So I'm going to come into here. I'm going to press out and I'm just going to start with a Pilates V here, okay? So I have my heels together, toes apart. You can see my back's onto that box and I'm sitting up nice and tall. I'm not hunched over. And if you feel like the box is kind of digging into your back right here, you can place, let me just place my towel just to give it a little bit more cushion. Good. From here, if you're laying on your back, set yourself up for normal footwork. Um, first position, heels apart. I mean, heels together, toes apart. Let's get started. So we're going to press all the way out, full extension of those knees, and come all the way in. So if you are perched up like this because you're pregnant like me and your belly's getting in the way, just stop where you're comfortable. You don't have to come all the way in, especially if you're really far along with a big old belly. So pressing out and in. Make sure you get full extension. Really press through the balls of those feet, engaging in the back of those legs. Good. Zipping up through those inner thighs. As we press out, lift up on that pelvic floor, okay? So we really want to try to show our pelvic floor some love, especially right now if you're pregnant. Good. Don't forget to breathe in through your nose and out through that purse lip. Let's go for four, three, two, and last one, we're gonna come in halfway. And from that halfway point, you're gonna press out. Halfway, out. So pulses, you're pulsing from just that halfway point. For five, four, three, two, and one. Press all the way out and come on in. So stay there, you're just gonna rotate your feet. So um, feet are parallel. parallel and balls of the feet are still onto the um, foot bar. And you're just gonna press out and in. From here, keep them about hip distance apart. So right under your hip bones, sit bones, just pressing out and in. Same thing, full extension here. Let's go ahead and lift those heels. So keep those heels lifted here. So you wanna find those nice high heels and you're pressing on the middle of your foot. Try not to roll on the inside or the outside of the foot. So we're really mindful of our movement throughout this whole exercise. We just don't go in autopilot and just press through it thinking about dinner. <laughs> so really stay focused, stay in the conversation here, okay? So keep those heels lifted for five, four, Three, two, last one here guys, press all the way up, keep your legs extended, and now we're going to just drop our heels and lift them. So we're just getting that nice stretch on the back of the legs, feel those calf muscles really firing up here, both heels at the same time, and lift, and now let's just do prances, one heel at a time. So I drop my left can definitely fill it with single leg, so take your time here, and then right. So take this as a nice stretch, it should feel really good actually. And left, and last one on that right side. Bend, strike, extend, extend out, and come on in. 
Good, from there, let's just walk our feet up onto the heels. So we're on the heels, hip distance apart, staying, same thing, and we're just gonna press out and in with both heels, okay? So make sure you really wanna to try to keep your heel flat here, your um, foot, sorry, flat, like you're up against a wall. So don't point the toes, keep the foot flat. Good, press through those heels. Find the connection between the glutes and the hamstrings here. Feel them fire up. And out. Good. Let's go for five. Four. Three. Two. And last one, press all the way out, and we're gonna go right back into those pulses. So we're gonna come in halfway as our starting point and pulse out. Make them fast, but stop at that nice halfway point. So you're keeping that tension in the glutes and hamstrings here. For five, four, keep your feet flat, three, two, and one, come on in. The last one here, we're just going to walk our heels out wide to a wide second. So now your feet are going to point to the diagonal and your heels are still on to the foot bar. So you're going to press all the way out, squeeze those glutes, and in. Good. So this is a really good one to really kind of bring attention to your pelvic floor, especially if you're sitting up like me and you're pregnant. So as you come on in, think about releasing that pelvic floor, letting it just relax. And then as you press through those heels, really lift up, okay? Find those muscles and contract. And then come on in. Good. Just like that. Even if you're laying down, do the same thing. Really try to find that awareness with our pelvic floor muscles, okay? And release. Let's go for four, squeeze, hold it. And then release as you come in. Three. Two. And last one, press out, same thing with those pulses. We're gonna come in halfway point and then press out, make them fast. For five, squeeze those glutes. Four, three, two, and one, press all the way out and slowly come on in. So we can kind of slowly come on out of that carefully if you're on there. So now we're gonna do some single leg work facing the back of our reformer. So if you have your box, go ahead and just place it over the flat shoulder block just so you have more room onto your carriage. Um, if you don't have a box, it's totally fine. You can still do these. You're just gonna have your hands um, onto your reformer, pressing through those shoulders. We're going to put our foot onto that foot bar. If you want to use a box, go ahead and grab it. It can be a little bit more comfortable. It can take the pressure off of our shoulders here. So whatever you guys like. I'm going to go down in springs. So now I'm going to release one red spring. So I only have one red and one blue. So one light and one heavy. Now I turn around and face the back of my reformer here. And now I'm gonna use my box to kind of keep myself perched up and keep a nice long spine here. So I'm gonna come onto my forearms, lift up on that belly. So if you're pregnant, hug your baby with your muscles here. And I'm gonna place my right heel onto that bar. Make sure your knees are right under your hips here, okay? You're not too far up here and you're not crunched back like this. So you wanna make sure everything's in line. Heel on that bar and when you're ready, we're gonna press that carriage all the way out. Get full extension with that leg. Feel that glute muscle lift and bend it in. Good. And you really want to keep your hip bones square to your reformer here. Don't turn out to that right side. Keep your knee facing straight down. Just like that, guys. Good. Out and in. Get full extension. Engage in that core. Press through those arms. And if you're not on your box, really press through those hands. Don't sag into those shoulders. Out and in. Let's go for five, four, three, two, 
Last one, same thing. We're going to come in halfway, that starting point, and press out. Pulse. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come all the way in. Good. Now, we're going to switch the position of our foot onto that bar. So now my toes are going to be facing towards the camera. So you can see, now my whole foot is on it, on that group onto the um, foot bar. And now I'm gonna place my left hand, forearm down onto that box. You'll see my body open up towards the camera here. If you don't have your box, you can just go ahead, both hands down, and just rotate. Now we're just gonna kinda come into a nice little spider kick. Same thing, but both, the whole foot is onto that foot bar. Make sure you're getting full range of motion here. Really find that glute connection here, squeezing those glutes and coming on in. And if you want to make this a little bit more challenging, you'll come up onto the ball of your foot, lift that heel, keep it lifted as you press out and in. So if you want to make it challenging, really fire up those quads with those glutes, lift up that heel. Press through that left shoulder if you're on your box. Don't sag into it, okay? Nice long spine. Keep breathing. Feels good. Start burning it out. Feel those muscles working hard. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Come in halfway. Just pulse it. Five, four, halfway point and press out. Three, two, and one. Come all the way in. Good job, guys. So now, do the same thing on the other side. So, let's go right into it, okay? And if you need a break, grab water at any time, okay? I might have to soon. Okay, so now I'm going to place my left heel onto that foot bar. Make sure my hips are, my knees are right under my hips. Pressing through my forearms here. I'm not sagging in. Nice long spine, engaging that core. And let's press all the way up and in. Hips are still square to your reformer towards that floor. We're not rolling out towards that left side yet. We're just getting full extension. Feel the back of that glute and those um, hamstrings kind of meet here. Squeezing that glute. Press out and in. Good. Great job guys. Keep going. Slow and steady. Resist that carriage coming in for five, four, three, two. Last one. Press all the way out. Come in halfway and pulse it. Five. Halfway point. Four, three, two, and one. Come on in. Ooh, I definitely feel it on my left side. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same exact thing. So I'm just gonna rotate my foot fully onto that foot bar. I'm opening up my side of the body. Now my back will be towards you, but we're gonna do the same thing. Right into those nice little spider kicks. So you really wanna feel those glute muscles working hard here. If you're on your box, you wanna press through that. Um, Right shoulder here. Out and in. Good. Now if you want that challenge, keep that heel lifted. Don't drop it. Feel those quads fire up too. Good job, guys. Let's go for five, four, Three, two, and one. Come in halfway. Pulse it out. Five, four, three, two, and one. Press all the way out and come on in. Awesome job. Good job, guys. So, let's go ahead and release our light spring. So, we're just going to have one red spring. We are going to do some bridging work here, okay? So if you don't have your box, 
Go ahead and lie down flat and keep your headrest flat. If you have your box and you're pregnant or you're just using your box and following along with me, awesome. So, we're gonna go ahead, position about like our bra line to our shoulders onto our box, okay? Just like that. We won't be here long in this position if you're pregnant, so don't worry, okay? We're just gonna press, put our heels onto that bar, press through those heels, so keep the glue, everything in line. Your hips and your chest, everything's in line here. We're just gonna press all the way up. And if you're on your back, go ahead and press up into a bridge. And just press out in and out here. Good. Say hi, keep those heels lifted if you're up on your backs and for us on this on the box, as you come in, go ahead and you can lift up those hips just a little as you bring that carriage all the way in and as you press out, lengthen through that spine, nice long spine. So as you come in, lift those hips and then press out. Good job, guys. Keep those on your heels. Feel these in your glutes. You want to keep your hips lifted. So you really feel that hamstring and um, glute connection here. Now, let's go ahead and lift our right foot to tabletop and just go out with our left and our right. Ooh, you really feel it on that single leg work here, right? So good. We won't be here long. Let's go for three, two, and one, come in, keep that right heel lifted, and we're just gonna do a little dip down and lift. Down and lift. For five, four, three, two, and one. Both heels down. We're gonna go right into the other leg, so lift that left hip leg, sorry. And then just press that carriage out and in. So you just want to put all that weight into your right side of that heel. Find the glute and hamstrings here. Good job, guys. Squeezing as you come on in. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and last one. Press out. Come all the way in. And just dip it down and up, down and up. You can get as low as you can. You can bring your bottom all the way down. Great. Five, four, three, two, and one. Both heels down and go ahead and slowly come on down. Good job, guys. And let's come out of that. So now we're actually going to use our box. We're going to go to a long box. So I'm going to switch to one blue spring. So one light spring for me, okay? And I'm going to go to a long box here. And I'm going to place my foot bar down. We're going to do some single leg foot in straps. So we're going to do that nice little leg pull. So working the back of those legs, bringing strength into our core. I mean, sorry, our glutes. Back of those legs, hamstrings, everything. So I'm going to grab my right strap here. And because I'm on that lighter spring and I have the option between a short and long strap, I'm going to place oops, my foot into the short strap just to give me a little bit more tension here, okay? And I'm going to bring my body onto my long box. And like I said, if you don't have a box, you can still do this on your reformer. So place your knees onto your reformer here, okay? Make sure if you're on your box or your reformer, you want to walk your legs all the way back towards the back of your box here. Okay, so really use that box or your reformer, that length, the length and through that spine. We're not crunched over. And you want to put your kneeling knee, which is going to be my left knee right now, in the center of that box and place your right foot right by the side of you, okay? Small bend in your elbows, so you're not hyperextending. So keep be aware of that strong core here and obliques are going to be on here, okay? So really hug your baby if you're pregnant with your core 
Even if you're not, bring your stomach in towards your spine. When you're ready, let's press all the way out. And then we're gonna bend in. So it's a two-way thing. Kick through that hill. So point the toe as you come straight down, just in line with your um, kneeling knee. I'm not coming all the way up here. Just in line here. I'm gonna press my foot all the way back. I'm not arching my butt. Nice long spine. Flex the foot. Bend it in towards the chest. Kick through that hill. Point the toe. Sweep right straight down to your line with that bottom leg. Or kneeling knee, sorry. Kick it back. Flex the foot. Bring it in towards your chest. Kick through that hill. Good. So now if you got the motion and the routine here, go at your own pace. These are nice, slow, and controlled moves. Try to keep your weight center rather than putting all your weight into that left kneeling knee. So hips are, obliques are on, hips stay square to our um, reformer. Good job, guys. Let's go for three. Two. And one. Good. Kick back. Keep your leg up here, okay? Now we're just going to rainbow. So we're going to touch that floor and rainbow up. Rainbow towards that side of the floor. Toe tap. And then you'll see all rainbowing straight back, okay? So just getting a nice little rainbow with that leg. For three. Two. And one, good. Keep your foot right now, like you can look at your toes. So kind of look at that diagonal, keep that carriage still, and we're just gonna lower and lift. Burning out those hip abductors. For five, four, tension in that strap, three, two, and one, come on down. Whew. Good job, let me just check the time. Good job. So let's go ahead and switch onto that other side, okay? So I'm gonna place my small strap onto my left foot now. And you can kind of just come into it as easy as however works for you. And then the same thing here, guys, we're gonna walk our knees all the way back towards the back of our box. I'm gonna drop my left foot right by the side of my carriage, but it's in line with my kneeling knee. I'm never gonna pass it, okay? Because then that's what we're gonna use if you pass your foot like that, you're gonna use momentum, like a windmill, back and forth. You don't wanna use that. When you stop with your knee here in line, you're using the strength of your back of your leg and glute to pull that leg and then release it, okay? So same thing here, when you're ready, we're gonna kick back, straight leg, flex the foot, bend the knee, and we're gonna come right into our chest and kick through that hill. Point the toe and sweep. So same thing, straight leg sweep, and then we're just gonna bend into the chest and kick through that hill. Nice, long, neutral spine here, guys. Don't arch that back. Tuck the tailbone a little. Slight bend in those elbows. Press through those arms, don't sag in the shoulders. Good. And like I said, if the light spring's too light for you guys, go up on a spring. Do what's comfortable with you. I'm just giving you um, the exercise and the um, form of it, but you guys can go at your own pace and your own spring tension here, okay? Especially if you're pregnant and if I'm doing things that don't feel comfortable for you, don't go by me just because I'm doing it pregnant. Go by what's comfortable for you. Good job. Let's go for four. Three, two, and last one, kick through. And now we're gonna go into that nice little rainbow. So I'm gonna let my foot rainbow over towards this floor. And then I'm gonna rainbow it back towards the back of that wall. So think of a rainbow, a U shape, as you're bringing it, touching and tapping that floor 
and pulling back. Feel those legs and those glutes working. Squeeze those glutes for three. Two. And last one. Bring your foot kind of at that diagonal. Keep the tension in that strap. Carriage doesn't move. And you're just going to lower and lift that leg. Feel those outer thighs. Hip abductors hitting. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come on in. Whew. Amazing. So let's come on down. And now we're going to go ahead and place our box to the side. Okay guys, so I removed my box. We don't need our box anymore. So now I'm going to switch my spring tension and I'm going to bring one red and keep the blue off. So just one red spring and that's it, okay? And now you're going to follow me. So my head might be cut off here, but that's okay. You just need to see the lower part of my body. And I'm coming on to my, um, uh, sorry, my platform, duh, and I'm going to place my right foot down. So I have my right foot onto my reformer and my left foot onto my platform here, okay? So we're going to go into some lunges and a step back. So you'll see what I'm going to do here. So I have one heavy spring on. Um, if it, you feel like it's too wobbly, it's not enough tension to add more springs. If you want more of a challenge, go lower in the spring, okay? I'm just trying to protect myself and my balance here. And from here, I'm going to press out and I'm going to lean into it, get low as I can. And I'm going to press through that hill and bring that carriage back. And I bring that carriage back, I'm going to step back off of my platform and just do a nice little step up here. And then back to my reformer. So a little step up and back. So really try to get low in that lunge and then back. So adding this nice little step up with that left leg is just adding a little cardio boost. We're getting more into the glutes here and down. So try to get low and lift. Press through that heel as you lift up and back. If you want a challenge, bring your lay arms up to a T and back. If I wasn't just focusing on lower body here, I would grab some hand weights here. This is a great opportunity to do some bicep curls, triceps, or shoulder presses, just to add a little bit more challenge, bring that heart rate up. Let's go for three. Two. Last one here, guys. So we're going to step out into that nice low lunge. Try to get low. Nice. Keep that heel right under your knee. Nice L shape. Stay low. And from here, we're going to press that carriage out and in. Out and in. If it's more comfortable, bring your hands to your waist. Perfect. The challenging part here is really staying low in that glue. Don't lose it. We're almost there. And don't pass your knee when you come in. Let's go for three, two, and last one. Let's go ahead and just dive down, hands on that reformer. We're just gonna take a stretch. Press that carriage out. Feel the back of that leg really open up here. And lift, keep that leg straight as you lift up and back. So try not to bend that knee. So you're getting that really nice um, hamstring stretch for two, And one, come on in. Awesome. We're going to take it right onto that other side, okay? So now I'm going to place my left foot onto that carriage. And my right foot's going to stay on that platform. And the same thing. Position yourself where you're comfortable. And I'm going to press out into that left foot. Press through that heel. And then I'm going to do that step back. So the best thing here is really find a spot on the wall or look at something on the floor. 
and that will help you keep your balance. Also, my left side is not my dominant side, so I feel a little bit more wobbly. So that's why I'm keeping my hands on my hips here. So if you want that challenge, bring your lower arms out to a T. You can place them behind your head. Oh, place them behind your head kind of feels good. It feels natural. Like you're really getting into that nice lunge. Engage that core here. Good job, guys. Let's go for four. Try to get low in that lunge. The lower you get, the higher the tush. Three. Two. Last one here, guys. We're going to stay low in that lunge here, okay? Remember, ankles right under our knee. Nice L shape. And we're just going to press out and in with our leg. Whew. Squeeze those glutes. Feel that left glute working hard here. Engaging that core. Stay low in that leg for four, three, two, and one. Come on in and dive down. And we're just going to go into that nice little hamstring stretch. So keep that leg straight, that knee straight as you extend it out. And keep it straight as you bring it in. So we're just getting that stretch to the back of that leg. You can go at your own pace here. Let's go for two. And one. And slowly come on in. Whew. Good job, guys. One more exercise here. We're going to hit some inner thighs. So go ahead, one big spring, and take your heavy spring off, okay? So one light spring. And be really careful how we get onto our reformer here. I'm going to go ahead and grab my platform extender. If your reformer doesn't have this, no worries. You just place your foot onto the platform that it has. But if you have an extender, these are great. So go ahead and grab that. My head's cut off. Sorry, but it's okay. So remember, we step onto our platform first and then onto our carriage. Never carriage first, you will fall. So light spring here. I'm gonna place my toes out. So think of um, second position, so heels kind of closer together and your toes pointing out to that diagonal. That's gonna be a little bit more challenging for the inner thighs. Good, when you're ready, let's press out. Only press out to where you're comfortable. Don't lose control here. Release that pelvic floor. And as you come on in, squeezing that pelvic floor, lifting up, and then back out. Release that pelvic floor. And then pulling those inner thighs whew, together. So be really careful here, guys. I almost lost my balance. Out, and then in. Feel like your inner thighs have a magnet, okay? So when you're coming in, the magnets are coming together really tight. You want to wrap them around the inner thighs. Fill the um, pelvic floor lift and then out. Good. Just like that. Press out as far as you can until you don't lose control. So don't press out where you don't feel like, uh oh, I can't come back in. So out, release it and lifting up. So remember, as if you have to go potty or squeezing a tampon. That was how I was taught how to find my pelvic floor muscles. That kind of made sense to me. So whatever works for you, release it. And then squeeze, lifting up. Hold it for a second. Feel those inner thighs fire up. And then release. Good. Let's go for three. Two. And last one, we're going to come all the way in, good, now make your feet parallel here, so feet are parallel, so toes are pointing towards the front 
of that um, front wall. Press up just a tad, just so your carriage leaves that stopper. And then now we want to keep that carriage very still. And we're just going to squat down and up. Don't let that carriage move, but you just want to have leave the stopper a little so your knees can separate and up. So going down like you're sitting into a chair and lifting. Good. Just like that. Good job, guys. Try to keep that carriage still. So inner thighs are on so that carriage doesn't slide out. And we're putting that in the back of our heels as we sit down. Hands can come up and down. Let's go for five. You got it. Inner thighs are still on. Don't let that carriage move. Four. Three. Two. And last one, stay low and little pulses. Pulse, don't let that carriage move. Inner thighs on. Five, four, weight in both feet. Three, two, and one. Press through those feet and come on in. Whew. And come on down. All right, guys. So go ahead and towel off. If you want to continue um, with a stretch, or feet in straps, go ahead. I just want to kind of keep this video a little short, so I just want to focus on that lower body. Um, thank you so much. I hope you liked that, um, that workout that I came up with. Um, nice little cardio boost too. If you're out of breath like me, good job. <laughs> I'm a little out of breath. Maybe it's because I'm pregnant and I don't know. The side chasing water. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will link right here to the upper, upper body part to this that I did uh, two days ago, three days ago. And so this is the lower body. If you guys have any comments or requests on what you want to do, I'm here for you and I'm listening. Let me know and we can come up with something fun. Thank you guys so much and I will see you later. Bye.